Hey guys, Chase Hassey here. Today we're going to be talking about the Slimline Manufacturing Air Blast Sprayer. So this is the uh, turbo steer hitch. So no matter what you do, you can go full lock, 90 degrees, drive your tire into the side of the tank, whatever. You're not going to be able to get this drive line that it won't ever not be straight. So you're always, if you unhook from here, you can go a full 90 degrees and keep on spraying. It'll never mess up. So this has your dump valve right up front. You can set your pressure right here. It's got a big four inch gauge. Um, it tells you what, you know, recommended operating pressure, or exceeding the max pressure of the pump. Um, so you just, to adjust your pressure, you just screw this red handle in right here and then um, pull up on it. It has a zip tie, I broke it. <laughs> This uh, ball valve right here, it's dumping back into the tank right now, but you could hook a handgun up to it if you wanted to and uh, use it for uh, tree base spraying or uh, injection into the root system. It's got diamond plate steps on each side, so you can easily get up here and access your tank lid. Um, right down here, it's got your equipment operating book. So if you ever get lost in the field and you, or something uh, is not acting right, you can diagnose it right here. Where this sprayer is going, um, they need a little bit bigger tire. So we put these uh, larger tires on there for washes and things like that. Coming in, you have your pump. When you come out of your pump over here, that's the orange hose. This is like an on off valve. So it's either dumping everything back into the pressure line or it's not. Or it's just sending it down into this tube for pressure. Once you turn it on, you send pressure to these two valves and that's controlling your left and right outlet. Um, they have a dump back on them. So if you're not spraying one side, you can keep the pressure the same. Um, when you go to spraying, it'll obviously come down through here. It's got inline brass strainers comes in um, all quick connects comes out your flutes right here um, 13 nozzle orchard head is standard um, you can get seven you can get a drift tower um, a lot of different things or a lot of different options of what you can put uh, as your outlet on a turbo mess that's a, um, a feature that they have that no one else can do you can put an orchard head, you can put a tower, you can put a cannon, anything that you can think of. If you undo this bolt right here, you can take that orchard head off and then put a tower on. You could do one orchard head and one tower. Any kind of setup that you can think of, you can do it on these sprayers. Slimline sprayers use a turbine instead of a traditional fan. And so what that allows us to do is compress the air in the orchard head or the tower and any other uh, slimline manufacturing head. And what that allows you to do when you compress the air is we're sucking in twice as much air as we're exhausting. So what that means is we're sucking in twice as much air from down here at the bottom all the way across here to the very top and out this side, it's always the exact same air. If you measure the air at this point down here in the middle, it doesn't matter, the air is always the same. Um, while that's important and um, using the turbine instead of running at 540 PTO speed all the time uh, say you only needed to get um, 10 feet of coverage each side on like a, a new peach uh, orchard or something you can slow down your PTO speed to 350 RPMs keep your air the same coming out of each outlet uh, cut down on your fuel savings, cut down on your chemical costs, cut down on waste, and keep your spray pattern the same and consistent. So right here we got a three inch opening. You could either put a three inch ball valve or reduce it down to a two inch and either put a male or female quick fill on here. And then right here you've got your uh, sight gauge. It's got a little gate valve down here at the bottom and a blue ball inside the tube so wherever your water level is at you'll be able to see that blue ball inside of there floating. This gearbox has a high 
a low and a neutral so right now forward is in low this is neutral so you can spray uh, or you can fill your tank up and agitate uh, without your fan running and if you want to put it in high just locks it in right there Technical assistance is available online 24-7 on our YouTube channel or our website, newtoncrouch.com. You can call us at 800-241-1350, Monday to Friday, and speak with a real person. No recorded messages. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to assist you. Proudly, Made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.